My name is Kyle Hilbert. I'm from DPU, Oklahoma, and I proudly serve District 29, which is mostly rural Creek County, um, Bristow, Kellyville, Manford, kind of the outskirts of Sepulpa. And um, I have the privilege of being the second youngest member of the legislature and um, 22 years old, was elected in November. Um, when I'm not serving in the legislature, I also work for my father for our family business. We manufacture pizza dough there in DPU and distribute it to grocery stores, gas stations, convenience stores all over Oklahoma. Um, and uh, it's mainly the pizza dough itself and then we also distribute the cheese and pizza related products as well. Representative Hilbert, you're a new member, so tell us about some of your priorities for this session. I think the number one priority that we're facing this session um, across the board is the budget. It's, it's the underlying um, topic that's always on the, on the front of our minds. Uh, one, one bill that I've authored to help address this is um, House Bill 1427. And what it does is it directs the Oklahoma Tax Commission to have at least five auditors stationed out of state. Um, currently, Oklahoma has no auditors solely focused on auditing companies that are based outside of our borders. So for instance, Texas has 16 auditors in Tulsa alone, and they audit companies based in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and Kansas that operate within Texas. Um, Texas in fiscal year 2016 made $69 million from their four field offices based outside of Texas, auditing companies based outside of their borders. Um, so this is a way to raise revenue without raising taxes on Oklahomans by collecting money that we're already owed by companies based out of state that operate within our borders. So you grew up in rural Oklahoma in an area that's very rural. Uh, tell us, how will you work to protect rural Oklahomans at the state capitol this year? Yeah, rural Oklahoma is something that is very important to me. Um, growing up on a small cow-calf operation and being very involved with the FFA um, in high school and college, I wouldn't be here today as a legislator if it weren't for the FFA and my involvement showing, showing hogs and giving speeches through the FFA really helped prepare me for this.